Hey, we're talking about also the Panthers are going to be back here at the uh, Bank of America on Sunday. Here is a live look at B of A. Should be beautiful football weather. And let's get right over to Chief Meteorologist Tara Lane. Tara, we're already looking ahead to Sunday as the warm up yeah. is going to be back here heading into the weekend. Yeah, we're going to get another warm push of air coming in by the end of the week. Another front coming in that will drop temperatures. It looks like a little more again for the weekend. So the timing is similar to what we had this past weekend. However, unlike this past weekend, if you were out there at the start of the concert for Carolina that got pushed back, that got delayed because of all that rain and a thunderstorm nearby and some lightning, it doesn't look like that's going to happen this time around. So we'll check out that seven day forecast coming up. Of course, we are rain free. We are storm free out there today. We've got a pleasant 67 degrees, so a nice little boost from those highs yesterday and temperatures are just kind of hovering in the 50s most of the day. Lots of clouds, just that cool and crisp and cloudy fall day out there. All the fall vibes, light and variable wind and the dew points are sitting in the upper 40s. You got the low 60s right now. Comfortably cool, I would say in Salisbury. Statesville's at 62, close to 70 in Wadesboro. We're right at and even 70 there in Rockingham and down through Chesterfield County. More of the same low and mid 60s heading up into the foothills and the cooler upper 50s in the higher elevation. So we are dry everywhere here. We do have some more clouds up to the north and west and some moisture offshore. You can see some areas of rain there just off the Carolinas coast, but not really tapping into any of that moisture yet. We'll keep it partly cloudy to mostly clear. We have seen some of those clouds around from time to time today, but not producing any rain and temperature by 9 p.m. back off to about 60 degrees. So warming trend kicking in by the end of the week will be pushing 80 and by Halloween it's going to be warm at least during the day before trick or treating time and all the while we stay mostly dry. I'll show you what I'm talking about here coming up and yes, looking ahead behind another cold front late week to that a little bit of a cooler weekend once again. So the warming trend, yes, especially up to our north and west places like Chicago and up toward Minneapolis, Omaha, Nebraska, parts of Iowa, could be looking at record heat coming up. We're not quite getting there, but still we're talking high 70s eventually to close to 80 degrees. We're not quite close to 80 yet, though, tomorrow. Tomorrow, mixed sun and clouds. Temperatures start in the mid and upper 40s and then lower 50s by 8 o'clock in the morning. will end up in the low 70s. But then, as I said, by the end of the week, there we go. Thursday, Halloween, we're up to 78 degrees, close to 80 on Friday before down the roller coaster hill we go again. So the average high these days, 69. We'll get there just a little bit cooler than uh, Friday's high of 79, but closer to normal and kind of back to reality as we hit Saturday and Sunday. Now I mentioned that mostly dry situation, so it looks like we're going to tap into a little more moisture streaming in from the south and east even into tomorrow. So a couple of sprinkles can't be totally ruled out. We'll see a little bit of cloud cover kind of rolling back in the next couple of days, but bottom line is it's not a great chance of rain, not looking like the type of situation that we had out there on Saturday and a lot of you would like to see some rain, but check out the seven day forecast. Chances are going to remain low over the next several days. We have a slightly better chance maybe by Friday ahead of that next front and then going into early Saturday. But for Halloween and trick or treating, weather looks dry for all the kids and the parents out there. And yes, by the way, it is fall back time. Have to turn those clocks back an hour before going to bed Saturday night.